Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're taking a look at the Cheviot Round, a new exciting round route of 52 miles on the CheviotRound.com website. And we're just going to show you in this video how you can download the GPX file, the electronic route file, from this website onto a compatible Garmin watch using the Garmin Connect app on an Android phone that I'm using today. So I'm on the Cheviot Round dot com website on my android phone if i touch on the three black lines at the top of the website page we go to the main menu where you can look at various options actually talks you through how you can record your attempt and submit it preparation transfer i'm um, sorry transition areas etc but to actually look at the routes i'm going to touch on the round heading and then we can see there's various options where you can do the complete round 51.33 miles gives you the elevation um, listed there and if we scroll down the list there's a leg one if you just want to do a shorter leg leg two leg three leg four etc with information so what we're actually going to do is download the gpx file which is the electronic file that we can then put on a compatible gps device in today's video i'm looking at transferring it to a garmin watch so if i go down the complete one here at the end of the complete section, going clockwise, I can see the option download GPX file below. It has the word Cheviot Round Mark 3 GPX. I'm going to touch on download file. And then that will give me the option to go to the downloads on my Android phone. I have already downloaded this earlier just as a test. That's where I've got the word download again. So I'm just going to select yes to download. And at the top, you can see it's downloaded and I've got the words open. So if I touch on open, straight away it's in what app do you want to open it with? So it'll remember the last app that I've used. I can scroll down the list to look at the compatible apps on my phone. It's Garmin I'm going to um, send this file to. So I'm going to select the Garmin Connect app. So you'd want the Garmin Connect app on your phone, which you will be using if you've got a compatible Garmin watch and then the first option it's given me is what type of route is this so this is how it's going to um, organize it on your app so really this is something we're expecting trail runners to do and um, there may be people hike it as well but predominantly this will be a trail running route due to the time scale of trying to do it in the 24 hours so i'm going to select trail running but again this is just how it's going to save it to be honest on the app and how you can find it and you can see there it's got the route overlaid on a map. If I scroll up the little grey bar at the bottom of the screen, it shows you the distance, the ascent and descent. And if I scroll right the way to the bottom, it is important if you have got a watch, a Garmin watch that gives you turn notifications, you must turn that little tab on the bottom where it says turn notification, otherwise you won't get the turn notifications. And at the top it, right, it has the word done. So I'm now going to touch on done so that it saves the course. Once it's saved the course, I can then transfer it to my watch. So I'll just let that finish. And we've got a new icon at the top of the screen. In the old app, it used to be the three white dots you would touch. But on the new version of the app, you've got a little symbol that looks like a blue phone with an arrow. So if I touch on that symbol there, it then gives you a list of Garmin devices that you've got that are compatible and which ones are connected. So my list at the top, it's got Instinct 2 Solar is the connected watch. So I'm going to touch on the watch there. And it now says time to get running. Now what I normally do is to make sure that's syncing with the watch. The little white back arrow at the top left on the app screen. I'm going to touch on that. And then at the very bottom left of the screen where it says my day. I'm going to go back to my day. And we can see at the top the indication with the two white arrows spinning round. And you can see the watch icon with the green dot that tells me it's syncing. If I wasn't sure if it was syncing, I could touch on the watch icon and then it'll take you to this next screen. So we'll just let this load and then you can sort of manually do a sync just to make sure that it is syncing. But it should automatically sync once you start to do that. So I can see the white arrow spinning round in the top right. If it wasn't doing that, I would just touch on those two white arrows to do the sync. Now a little tip on the Garmin Connect app, if you do want to find your courses again, that's how we call um, a route is named on the Garmin Connect app, quickly you'll see my menus along the bottom of the screen, I've actually got a tab that says courses. Now as default, that normally isn't there. So if you actually touch on the more tab at the bottom and then touch on 
edit the top right. Normally you would find courses is not there and you would have something like news feed. So what I've actually done on my app, I've hit the little minus tab next to news feed, scroll down to courses, hit the little plus tab and then save in the top right. And now you see I've got courses, which fair enough, I already had at the bottom of my app. It just means if you're not sure if it's synced and you want to resend it or send it to a different watch, you can then find your courses easily. So if I now touch on courses and just let this load, you can see Chevy at round mark three is the one at the top. So if I touch on that again now, I've got the icon at the top right with the little blue phone symbol, where again, I can repeat the process, touch on that, see which device I've got connected touch on the watch which I want to send it to and then again I normally just hit the back arrow touch on my day at the bottom and just check that the white circle is syncing. So we hope you found this video useful and you're looking forward to taking part in this exciting cheviot round and doing it yourself and getting round the round whether that be the full one or some of the shorter versions. For more information, top tips and information on GPS devices and watches, you can visit gpstraining.co.uk website where you'll find loads of information. And thanks for watching this video.